Today, we're going to make a game where you help Cosmic Cody uncover sunken pirate treasure while avoiding a squid. In this game, anytime you tap on the iPad, Cody will dive further down to the ocean floor. A squid will swim left and right between Cody and the treasure. If Cody bumps into the squid, he starts back near the surface. So let's grab our hero. And let's teach him to dive when you tap the iPad. So go to the plus button next to play and find Cosmic Cody. Great. So add a new rule. Find when iPad is tapped. Now let's make him dive down. Go to movement and find change Y by. So just so you understand what this means, let's talk about X and Y for a second. Your screen has two axes. The X axis means left and right. A character's X position gets bigger as he moves right. If his X position is decreasing, it means he's moving left. X ranges from 0 to 1000 on your iPad. The Y axis means up and down. A character's Y position gets bigger as he's moving up, and it gets smaller as he's moving down. Y ranges from 0 at the bottom of the iPad to 800 at the top. If we want Cody to move down, we need to decrease his Y position. And we do this with a negative number. So change Y by negative 50. Cool, let's see what that looks like. Tap, 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 tap. Awesome. OK, go back to edit. And let's drag him up to the top of the screen. Great. So now let's make our squid. This squid happens to be an emoji, so drag out a text object. And if you have the emoji keyboard enabled on your iPad, you should see a globe or smiley button next to your spacebar. If you don't, then pause this and watch our video on getting emoji on our Hopscotch YouTube channel. So hopefully you have emoji now, so you can tap on that globe. There you go. So now find the flower and scroll until you find the fish. So down on the bottom you see that there's like a watch and a smiley face and a flower. The flower is nature, I think, and you can find most animals in there. So now we have our squid. You can tap done. So now we want the squid to move left and right repeatedly. So let's drag him over to the left to begin with. And this is where he'll be placed when the project starts. All right, so he's going to move left and right repeatedly, lurking around, waiting to pounce on Cody. And we want it to start when the project starts. So pick, first add a new rule, and pick when the play button is tapped. Now let's get the squid to move left. Do you remember how to do that? Left means move along the x-axis towards zero, so negative. So let's go to movement and find change x by. And to go left, we go negative. And in this case, we want it to be negative 800. Now, x out of here. So if he's going to move left, we have to start with him on the right, actually. So let's drag him over to this side. Cool. Now let's play and see what happens. Yay. See, he's pretty small, so maybe we should grow him, too. So let's go to edit and find grow by, which is in appearance. Grow by 200. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. OK. So you can obviously make it any size you want. 200 looks cool for us. Um, and he's just moved left. And now we need to move him right. So do you know how to do that? You guessed it. Change x by positive 800. So let's go to movement and find change x by and type in positive 800. Cool. So now all we need is for this to happen forever. So to do something repeated forever, we need to use the repeat forever block. So go to edit and find control flow, which is the blue menu. And in there, you'll see the repeat forever block. So drag that out and drag change x by and change x by. So now they're both in there. 
And now anything in this blue block will happen all the time. Note that repeat forever means do this and nothing beyond it. So if you put code below the repeat forever block, it will not run. Okay, so if Cody bumps into Squid, he'll get zapped and return to the surface. So let's add a new rule for Cody. In the Wens menu, tap More and find Bumps. So now you can put two characters in here whose interaction will cause something to happen. So the two things we want to bump are Cody and the Squid, right? So pick Cody and then pick Squid. So now when Cody bumps Squid, something will happen. So let's pick that thing. So the idea is that when he bumps Squid, we want him to return to the surface. And to get him to be in a position we want, we use set position. So go to movement and find set position. So let's put him in the middle top of the screen. So if x ranges from 0 to 1,000, what's the middle for x? 500. And if y ranges from 0 to 800, then if we want y to be near the top, close to 800 would be, let's say, 700. So now anytime Cody bumps into Octo, he's going to end up in the middle top. So let's see what that looks like. So Octo is repeating forever. Uh-oh. Nice. Great. So now let's add treasure. So go to plus, and our treasure is going to be an emoji. So pull out a text object and go to the globe button next to the spacebar. Now let's find treasure, which I think should be under bell. I guess there are a lot of things you could have, but let's just use the trophy right there. Cool. So now let's have a bump window that says when Cody bumps the treasure, the word win or victory or hooray pops up on the screen. So to get that to work, go to the button next to play and pull out a text object and let's call it hooray. So the idea here is that when the project starts, Hooray will be invisible, but when Cody bumps the treasure, it will become visible. So first, let's do that first rule. Add a new rule. When the project starts or the play button is tapped, set invisibility, which you can find under appearance. So something to remember about set invisibility, if you're fully invisible, that means you're 100% invisible. If you're visible, if someone can see you, that means you're 0%. So if we want this to start out unseeable, then press 100. Cool. Now let's add a second rule to Hooray. So the idea here is that when Cody bumps treasure, this becomes seeable. So go to More. We're going to find Bumps. And pick Cody and the trophy. Great. Now go to visibility, which is under appearance, and set invisibility to zero. Awesome. So let's see if this worked. Nice. OK, now finally let's make a background. Go to edit. Now pick a new character, and this is going to be our artist. So. Um, why don't we pick Stargirl? So Stargirl is going to paint a giant blue line behind everything, and then she's going to disappear. So add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, in order to paint or draw, you have to go to Drawing. And you have to pick Leave a Trail. And the idea here is that any movement within this block leaves a trail with a color that you can see right here, and a width that you can see right here. So in this case, we want a big blue line behind everything. So pick your color. What kind of blue do you want? Great. And then the width needs to be huge. So if the width of this entire screen is 1,000 by 800, then make this like 6,000. And move forward just once. So we're really just drawing a giant circle. 
So then after this, we don't want to see Stargirl. So press check, and then let's put an invisibility block after this. So find appearance and set invisibility to 100. Great, now let's see what this looks like. Cool. And now you have the ocean floor and this very fortuitous Octo trying to stop Cody from getting the treasure. Hey, but he did it. Cool, so now you have the basic schematic for your treasure dive game. And now you can make different backgrounds, you could make more treasure, you could have different obstacles like sharks and different kind of fish, um, or you could put it in a different background altogether. You could have it at school, you could have it in a volcano, in outer space, anywhere you want. Good luck.